exquisite Nashville came out of an ongoing effort to reach out to our uh, community partners as well as to engage with uh, different cultural groups in Nashville uh, with the realization that Nashville has, has changed a great deal over the uh, past few years. Uh, we thought this would be great within the scope of the Exquisite Corpse game, which is a game originated by surrealist artists uh, in, in the early 20th century. And uh, with these artists, the idea was to create a work of art uh, by having one person initiate uh, something, whether it be a drawing or painting, uh, and then covering a portion of that painting so that when passed on to the next person, it would only be partially visible so that the next artist would be able to continue while not knowing exactly what um, the complete image would be. So uh, this is everyone bringing their experiences together, meshing them as one and creating something that otherwise would not have been created, which is sort of the idea of what, what we see Nashville as now. A collection of experiences, a collection of people, a collection of cultures who otherwise would not may not have engaged with one another at, at a diff different time. I really like the idea of how Exquisite Corpse and Community Centers um, are a real similar idea just in how they work and how Community Centers um, know that there's these other projects happening that are doing similar kinds of things but they don't get to see what the person's doing but they know that they're pushing towards something that's good and so that was neat to me to then have um, Exquisite Corpse mix those ideas from a creative standpoint. I think that Exquisite Nashville really talks about how Nashville is changing and how diverse the community is. And so I think that being able to visually articulate your identity, I think it's important for, for people and for, and for them to have a voice in a public forum like the First Center for the Visual Arts. So I think it's an incredible experience. What it meant to our participants to be able to work on this project was to really revisit the essence of what home is to each person. And that is a very powerful yet simple concept. And I think that when you go into the Frist and look at the exhibit, you will get what I mean by that. I had a really great time working on the artwork for the Fritz Center. Uh, I met a great group of people and we were able to express ourselves and come together as a group of people to form and to create together. I was uh, really glad about that. I had never experienced that. I always like work on my own, but I never had a chance to work with such a wonderful group of people. I think that that's the most important thing in the world is to be able to network and meet people like yourself. Uh, it, it helps you not feel so all alone, especially when you're homeless, and it helps you to understand where other people are coming from, and an expression of understanding is through creativity. It meant to me um, how I work in art is pretty good for me, like, because I don't know like, how to do art and stuff like that, but it's cool because everyone can help me and stuff, like all the people, my friends, they help me in the art. So I can be pretty good in there. I like it so much. Uh, it's good. When you work with other people, it will be fun and they will help you, they will help you like to understand what to do. Yeah, it's fun. And you will meet them, like you, you will meet your friends, like they will be your you friends. friends. You will meet yeah. them, yeah. But oftentimes you have community centers that um, share clients, like they serve a similar kind of client, but they don't know exactly what each one is up to necessarily, but they do know that they're trying to create this larger picture. And I think that's what is cool about Exquisite Corpse is that you don't necessarily know what the other artist is, but if you trust that person, you know that there's going to be something really interesting. And I think that um, Conexion Americas, Casa Ossifran, and those places, along with many other community centers in Nashville, are doing that to kind of push Nashville um, in this kind of positive way to kind of create this newer kind of picture for folks who um, historically are underserved in, in, in our town.